Hey guys, it's such a joy for me to be with all of you today here. I am trying out the challenge to bring out something very important, a topic that I'm sure that will be a blessing to you guys. So I want you to join me today. I'm not alone. I have my brother who's with me. I can't show you on the screen right now, but he's doing the behind the scenes work for this challenge where the whole challenge is going to be like this. Okay, my brother, Jason David, I'll put a link to his channel in the description. I encourage you to check that out as well. But what I want to share is that this is going to be the challenge, right? The challenge is that my brother is going to put out short snippets of the voice of different people I listen to, maybe some singers, musicians, preachers, and I have to identify whose voice it is. Okay, so that's the challenge, and I'm going to bring out an important message through it. So are you ready to join me in it? See you in a minute. So Jason's got it ready, so hit the button. The song inside of you, an anthem in your chest. Your heart is keeping time. Is it Thorin Wills? <laughs> oh my gosh, the first one is wrong. Who is it? John Foreman. John oh Stitcher. my gosh. Okay, John Foreman. My name. Oh damn, I missed it. Okay, next. If you turn with me to the book of Second Timothy. Second Timothy. The great apostle Paul writes this and says, For the time will come. John Hagee. <laughs> oh, who's this? Jimmy Swaggart. Oh, come on, Jimmy Swagger. Who, I, I, I have only heard his name, okay? I've not listened to his sermons. Okay, fine. Next. Please make it easy. Amen. Glory. Today, they, as I stated to you last night, the <sighs> thing that the Lord has instructing. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, it can't be to me. Kenneth Copeland. Oh, I think that's a lucky guess. Okay. I think I vaguely remember. Oh. I was diagnosed with anxiety and OCD, ADHD, and Tourette's syndrome uh, when I was 11 years old, and I'm uh, almost 28 this year. Um, and I, I've, I've always struggled with trying to find that balance of when am I being anxious? When am I stressed? When am I being irrational? Jimmy Grace. Uh, when... Yay! I'm right. Great. His good didn't outweigh his bad, and, and my good doesn't outweigh my bad. There's only one reason. Hmm. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. <laughs> that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but Don't have everlasting miss. life. Three wrong. What's, what's the answer? Toby Mac. The oh, one and only Toby, Toby Mac. Mac. Give me a Mac. Okay. <laughs> Three wrong. Jacob wrestled with God. It says that night Jacob got up and took his two wives, his female servants, and his eleven Brooklyn sons children. across the. F Yay! Looks like I'm getting all the female artists right. <laughs> yes, David, that is true. We are outside of that hospital right now in Nebraska, where we do have early reports that what we are calling patient zero at this time for the Omicron variant does have the sniffles. John Chris, the comedian, just like John Gifter. Yeah. Growing up, I would always look up into the sky and stare at the stars. I always dreamed of being an astronaut and working for NASA. 
and ever imagined doing anything else. And we'll see. Because when you get too tired, you start fighting battles that don't matter to distract Steve you from Rodney. the ones that... Three o'clock in the morning, imagine God wakes you up and asks you to go for a walk. Uh, I'm sure you will rebuke every voice and say that was the voice the Sammy, thank you. did i get right oh no he didn't take account of that anyway so i hope you guys like this and you may be wondering why did i do this challenge but here's the point if you notice uh one of the biggest questions people have is uh how do i know i'm hearing god right how can i be familiar with the voice of god and so what i did this uh the reason i did this challenge is to tell you now, certain people I have hardly listened to, like Jimmy Swaggart, obviously, I've never listened to him, so I could not recognize his voice. If you've never taken time to listen to God's voice, you will never be able to recognize his voice. But sometimes, you know, some of the people I have listened, but not that much, right? Like, so uh, I found it hard to be sure, okay, this could be uh, a voice, like, who was the first example? John Foreman. John Foreman. Okay, I've listened to maybe just two of his songs, like uh, Education and um, what's the other one? that yeah. Carry Me. So I've only listened to like two songs. So I couldn't, uh, you know, immediately come up and say, this is John Foreman. Okay. So if you ra very rarely listen to God's voice, you won't be able to recognize that easily. But at the same time, when you listen more frequently, like uh, um, Brooke Litterwood or Jimmy Grace, uh, I've listened so frequently that the minute they were, I've never heard these uh, segments, so I don't know what they seg these segments were, but I was able to recognize because I have been listening regularly. And um, Stephen Furtick, uh, again, I have come across so frequently, so I was able to immediately say, hey, that's Stephen Furtick. And uh, what I also want you to notice is the last example that is with regard to Pastor Joel Osteen, okay? Um, uh, Jason also, along with George Hosteen's voice, he put um, some kind of a background noise, right? It was m trying to make his voice sound faint, like there's so much of noise around. But in spite of that, I was able to recognize and say that's Pastor Joel Hosteen's voice, right? So what I'm trying to say is when you know his voice so much, even in the midst of all the noise, you can recognize that voice. You get what I'm saying? Because I've listened so frequently. I've been listening to Pastor Joel since 2013 every single week. So anywhere, even in the crowded place, uh, it's so noisy all around, I can recognize that voice. Why? Because I've been listening so much, right? Uh, whereas a voice I've never listened to, I'm not able to recognize. This is the principle for you and I to recognize the voice of God in a deeper fashion. If you've never taken time to listen to God's voice, take that time. And when you take the time, listen, it's going to be a step-by-step -step process. It's not like today you start listening, immediately you'll be 100% accurate all the time. There are times like when you start riding a bicycle, right? You're not going to go without falling all the time. You start, you fall, you get up, you fall, you get up, and eventually you become a pro in bicycle. Same way, when it comes to hearing God, you keep taking the step little by little. The more you keep hearing his voice, what happens is even in a crowded scenario, even when you are in a place which is so noisy and it's difficult to hear his voice, you will still be able to hear and recognize his voice because you are listening to his voice so much. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, one more key I want to leave with you in this. See, now, if I've never listened to Joel Osteen, like if I'd never set time out to listen to Joel Osteen, and I'm just going with the flow, and if I put in the same scenario where there's so much of noise and I have to recognize his voice, I won't be able to, right? Because I set some time aside to listen, 
to Joel Osteen, okay, just an example in this uh, case study, what happens is in reality, when I'm actually going through uh, noisy situations, I'm still able to recognize the voice. So what I'm saying is, if you want to hear God's voice in the noisy places, in the moment of tension, when you need to hear God's voice, when you're more going through seasons where uh, it's so difficult to hear God's voice, you have to take time to hear his voice, like, you know, set aside some time to hear his voice. Only when you have taken that time to hear his voice on a regular basis, you will be able to effortlessly hear his voice without a doubt when you're going through those low moments, when you're going through those noisy seasons of your life, when you can have more confusions. Are you getting what I'm saying? So my challenge to every one of us is this important truth. Take time to hear God's voice on a regular basis because the Bible says my sheep will hear my voice. The Bible says, behold, there's a voice behind you telling you which way you need to go. Turn to the left or turn to the right. You can do that. You can grow and develop your relationship with God in that way when you do it on a regular basis. So that's the challenge uh, I just did to share with you guys. Um, I hope you like this. I encourage you to do like, comment, share, subscribe, check out all other details in the description, like my podcast, radio, books, and all the different things. Follow me on social media. I would love to hear from you and I will see you back very soon. Do drop in your comments and I will read and revert back very soon. God bless you.